Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome. I'm excited today that God has made it possible for us to be together again for a good week of glory, moving from glory to glory. I hope you all had a very good week. Please help me wake somebody up. Please help me call somebody. They need to be in this prayer meeting tonight. Everyone in the land of the living that wants to be somebody on earth ought to be here tonight, tomorrow night, and Friday night. But like we usually do, we're going to go to some good old black gospel music for tonight. And this is by special request. This music is beautiful. It's a long one by Lee Williams. The Midnight Hour. This is some storytelling guy. And he really knows how to tell the story. They remind me of how we used to tell the story. All kinds of stories in elementary school every Friday afternoon while I was a young chap. I think the blacks in America just brought that tradition here. And it's so beautiful to mingle it with the gospel. This is Lee Williams, The Midnight Hour. Enjoy. Yeah. You have to dance now. Another story I want to tell you. Can I tell it? Somebody don't want to hear my story. one more time can I tell my story okay I was reading the other day about a man named Moses I was reading while one day God called Moses. He told him, said, Moses, I want you to go down in Egypt land. I want you to tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. And you know how that story goes. Moses began to kind of question God. said, now, Lord, are you sure I'm the one? Say, you know, I, my tongue is a little tired and I don't speak real well. Lord told him, said, Moses, all I want you to do is just go. And I'll go with you. Just open your mouth and I'll speak for you. Moses went on and told Pharaoh what the Lord had said. But you know how that story goes. Pharaoh's heart was hard and he wouldn't let the old peoples go. Well, after God had brought several plagues upon the land of Egypt, he called Moses again. He said, Moses, I want you to go back and tell old Pharaoh If he don't let my people go, tell him there'll be a great cry in the land of Egypt. Tell him that all of the firstborn in that land will be killed. And then Moses, I want you 
want you to tell your people. I want them to kill a lamb. I want them to put the blood on either side of the doorpost. So when the deaf angel come and see the blood, he'll pass that door back. Moses went on and told Pharaoh what he said. But he wouldn't let the old people go. And the Bible tells me it was midnight when there came a great cry in the land of Egypt. All of the firstborn in that land was killed. That lets me know that God moved. God moved at midnight. I got another story. Can I tell that one? Talking about the five wise and the five foolish virgins. When they went out to wait on the bridegroom. And you know how that story goes, don't you? The foolish ran out of oil. And the Bible said it was about midnight when somebody cried out, the bridegroom has come. I got one more. I got one more. And then I'm going to leave you alone. Talking about old man Paul and old man Sal. When they were bound down in that Roman jail, didn't have nobody that could go their bail. Now, if, can I imagine just a little? I imagine old man Silas had been troubled ever since that jailer closed them doors. And I imagine after he had taken all he could take, he looked at Paul and told him, said, Paul, oh Paul, don't you think we ought to sing a song, a prayer, prayer? And you know how it is if you ever been in a situation where you knew that everything was going to be all right, but somebody else was all trouble and tore up about it. See, Paul had been in Rome, and Paul already knew that at midnight, all of the Roman guard would go to sleep. But he knew that the God he was going to call on never sleep. So I imagine a little bit again. When Paul looked back at Silas, he told him that, Silas, oh Silas, let me tell you what we going to do. We going to wait till the midnight hour when all the Roman God go to sleep. He's the only one I know that can deliver us and save our soul. Let's wait until the midnight, till the midnight hour. Let's wait till the midnight, till the midnight hour. Come on, let's wait till the midnight, till the midnight hour. Till the midnight hour. Can I say one more thing? Till the midnight, one more thing. Sometimes I love to be in company. Again, I want to be all alone So I can talk to my heavenly father Up in heaven on his throne I can call him in the morning Until the midnight, till the midnight, till the midnight hour.
well, well, well. Wasn't that beautiful? I'm muted. That was good. The Midnight Hour by Lee Williams. Special request from Pappy. The Thank you, sir. Please note that your story For letting us forward. hear such a beautiful Please music. And delete recordings or this more Midnight Hour for many of us. We give God the praise, we give God the glory, we give God the honor. We're going to bring you more music tomorrow, but for today we got to go to the business of the night. And the main business of the night, hallelujah, is to pray about our glory. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome those who are calling in. And welcome those who are listening on the podcast. I welcome you to a week of moving from glory to glory. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, you've made it possible for us to be together again. Thank you for watching over us all through the weekend, Monday, Tuesday, and this is Wednesday. And actually Thursday morning for many of our listeners. We need you to help us tonight because without you we can do nothing. Father, I admit tonight that without you I cannot lead these prayers. And without you, your people cannot pray a single prayer. So we we'll pray for the anointing to be upon us so that this will be a glorious time. This will be a life changing time. Have your way in our midst, O oh God. And we'll be careful to give you the praise at the end. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I have kept my opening monologue very, very, very short. The reason is because what we are going to pray about tonight will require some explanation. And I want to spend quality time to inform you so that when we pray, you will know exactly what you are praying about. Our focus this week, as you must have seen on the flyers, is the subject of glory. Glory. That's a subject not commonly considered in many churches today. In fact, in my many, many, many years of preaching and in my many, many years of leading prayers, this week is the very first time ever that I'm dealing with the subject of glory. And I just wonder why I have never thought of doing anything about such an important subject as this. Because, folks, everything about life hangs on your glory. And these three days ahead of us, the promise to be life-changing experience. What is glory? First Peter chapter 1, verse 24 gives us an insight into the definition of glory. This is what it says in part. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. Now, even though the emphasis there is on how glory can easily fade off like flower, the statement still furnishes us with what glory is. If the glory of man is like the glory of the flower, then it means glory, by definition, is whatever adds value to your life. Just like flower adds value to grass or plant. Talking about plants, 
You know, every spring, the cherry plants, the blossom in Washington, D.C., and people travel from everywhere, even across the ocean, just to see the beautiful display of floral fireworks, adding beauty to that plant. That is what glory is all about, people. Anything that adds beauty to your life, that's your glory. So if the glory of man is like the flower of the grass, then glory also means that which makes one to stand out above all others. Just like flower makes grass to stand out above all other plants. Glory also means that which attracts others to you, just like flower attracts butterflies to plants and tourists to Washington, D.C. during the springtime. Glory is whatever, whatever it is. Glory is whatever will attract others to you, to admire you, to appreciate what God has done in your life. And to desire to have the same thing that God has given you. But glory also means that which makes you a blessing to others. If glory is something you have in you that makes you a blessing to other people. Like flowers is a blessing to bees. If not for flowers, bees will not produce honey. And every morning when I sit down to pray, there was flower uh, beside where I used to pray. And now the flowers are dead because their time have passed. But every morning I will see different kinds of bees coming to suck on the pollen. You see, that flower was a blessing to those bees. The same way glory is. Whatever makes you a blessing to other people, the people come and gather around you and you bless them with it, that is your glory. It makes you a blessing to others. That means then, listen to this, the job that you have right now is part of your glory. If you lose your job, then part of your glory is under assault. If they demote you on that job, then part of your glory is under assault. Or if they don't promote you like they ought to, part of your glory is under assault. Glory is not just one thing. Glory is made up of so many things in our lives. The gifts of that you have a part of your glory. They may be natural gifts. They may be spiritual gifts. Now, Minister Mike, one of the glory of Minister Mike is the ability to play music and ability to sing. That's part of your glory. Now, the man who I played, Williams, that I played, Williams Lee, I believe it is, uh, Lee Williams, rather, that I played his music just before we went on the air with everybody. He, This man can sing. That is the glory of his life. Natural gifts or spiritual gifts. The talents that you have are part of your glory. Either natural talents or talents that you develop, they're part of your glory. The position you hold in your family is part of your glory. The position you hold in the community is part of your glory. All these politicians that are in Washington, D.C. and state capitals all across the world, that's part of the glory of their lives. When they show up, in fact, people call them in Africa, uh, honorable, honorable, honorable. That's part of the glory that God has given them in their lives. 
So your position in the family, your position in the community, your position in the office, your position in the church, those of you who are pastors, that's part of your glory. Believe it or not, the children that God has blessed you with, they are part of your glory. The parents, hallelujah, that you have, they are part of your glory because the Bible even says the glory of the children is their fathers. Can you now see the problem we have in America with so many homes, especially black people's homes that are without fathers? The glory is gone. All right. Of course, they can have glory in other areas, but the Bible says the glory of the children is their father. So when father is missing, then a part of the glory of the children is also missing. The certificates you have is part of your glory. The type of job you walk in is part of your glory. The businesses you have and the success of those businesses, they are part of your glory. Even the kind of automobile that you drive is part of your glory. When you buy a home, that's an increase in your glory. When you build a home, a house, that's part of your glory. The properties you have, you have one in the north and you have one in the south. That is part of your glory. Believe it or not, even the clothes that you wear, it's all part of your glory. The spiritual strength that you have, the ability to pray, the ability to quote scriptures, the ability to read the Bible, that's part of your glory. Glory, like flower, is that which makes you shine in the eyes of other people. Whatever decorates your life, hallelujah, is part of your glory. Glory can also be understood clearer by looking at what Job said in Job chapter 29 in verse 20. What did Job say? Job said, my glory was fresh in me. Now, Job was talking about what happened before what happened happened. <laughs> Job was talking about his possessions and about his achievements before the enemy came to heat. Do you see that the devil doesn't like your glory? Uh-uh. God told him, look at him. And the devil say, yeah, I see all his glory. His children, part of his glory. His businesses, part of his glory. His good health, part of his glory. He said, give me a chance to attack them. Once you take the glory out of a man, the man will curse you and die. And God said, not Job. It's not going to curse me and die. So all the earthly possessions that God has blessed you with, that's part of your glory. Part of the glory of Job was his righteous life. Part of his glory was the honor he had in the society at that time. The Bible says there was no man righteous like him in the East. And there was no man as rich as him. This guy had glory. He was highly esteemed. He was highly respected. Part of his glory was the fact that he was a successful businessman. And that's why he said, my glory was fresh. Until the devil came and messed up his glory. Of course, part of his glory were his children. All I have said should have given you idea by now of what glory is. Our prayer tonight is that every glory that God has apportioned to you in life will begin to manifest. That's that some some of us are not walking in the glory that you came into the world with. Many are operating in 30% glory capacity. Others are manifesting at 50% glory capacity. Some are walking at 80% glory capacity. 
So what our desire this week is, is whatever glory we have, we will move from glory to glory to glory to glory. Hallelujah. So if you have 30% glory capacity, that God will move you up to 50%, move you up to 80%. How wonderful will it be if you can move to 100% glory capacity in this world? I don't want to get to heaven, people. And God would tell me that this is the glory that was for you when you were on earth, but you never attained to it. This is the glory that we had in plan for you on earth, but you never attained to it. Or you attained to it, but the enemy brought you down from 80% to 30%. That shall not be your portion. I said the prayers of this week are serious prayers. And I'm glad you came to join us. Let me talk about Jesus. Do you know for 30 years, yes, you heard me right, for 30 years, Jesus lived without much glory manifesting in his life. It was just with his dad as a carpenter, making desks, making tables, making beds, and all of those other things. His glory had not really been manifested. Everybody looked at Jesus like an ordinary person. Did you hear what I said? Everybody looked at him like an ordinary person. Why? Because without the manifestation of glory in your life, People will think of you and take you as an ordinary person like them. And that was how everybody looked at Jesus in the carpenter's shop. But then, for Jesus, came the last three years, or three and a half years, whichever way you want to call it, of his life. And a manifestation took place. The flowers, if you will, of his glory began to bloom. And we read that in John chapter 2 in verse 11. It says, this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, look at the next statement, and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Without glory manifesting, you will not be believed in. These people were following Jesus, but it was this place for the first time when he manifested forth his glory that even his disciples believed in him. You know what I'm praying to God for for you? Ah, that in your family they will find out who you are, honestly. You belong to a particular church, even in fresh anointing, they will find out who you are. They now know, but everybody just takes you as an usher. Everybody just takes you as one of the pastors. That something will happen in an instant and will propel you to where everybody will say, Wow, this man is like this, this woman is like this, and we didn't know. People will look down on you, people will look down on your ability. Until glory propels you forward. People will think you are just like the rest of them. Until glory manifests in your life. We are going to pray tonight. That our true glorious color. Will begin to manifest like never before. Maybe you have spent 30 years of your life. With no relevance. My God. Maybe you have spent 30 years of your life with no recognition. Maybe your glory has not been seen, has not been known. May your glory begin to manifest as a result of our gathering this week. And the psalmist, oh, the psalmist, he put it so beautifully when he wrote in Psalm 57, in verse 8, he said, Awake, awake up, my glory. 
Awake, awake, awake my glory. Now, what, what was he saying? He was simply saying, listen to Bishop now, that that which is weighty in my life, that which is important in my life, that which will show how valuable I am in life, that which will show how splendid I am in life, that which will show how magnificent I am in life, should wake up. Whatever people will see and praise the Lord for me should manifest the beginning of miracles. Did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and then his disciples believed on him. Let me play with the word manifest for a second before we start praying. Manifest, manifest. It says he manifested forth his glory. That word there suggests that the glory was there, but had not been made known to them. Do you know how much glory you could still have and you will still have that you are not even aware of? Hallelujah. Do you know how much glory you could still have that people have not known yet? He had always been Jesus. He had always been who he was. But it had not been shown for people to see until that glorious day. It's like the weatherman. If you are in New York City today, you will notice that from this morning till almost 6 p.m. tonight, it was a cloudy day. It was a total cloudy day. And I think the sun came out around 6 o'clock. When the weatherman says today is a cloudy day, it's actually not 100% true. The reason is because the sun shines every day. There is no single day that the sun does not shine. Only you don't see it because it is covered by the cloud. So the last three years of the life of Jesus were better than the first 30 combined. The cloud moved out of the way. God said it's time. And I believe for you it is time. I don't know what cloud is covering your glory. I believe that the wind of God is going to blow on you tonight. The wind of God is going to blow on you tomorrow. The wind of God is going to blow on you on Friday. That whatever is causing your glory, the glory of the sun that is shining every day to be covered up and for people to say, oh, this is a cloudy guy. This is a cloudy man. When actually you get a lot of sunshine in you, but something is blocking that sunshine, that glory from coming forth the last three years of his life were better than the first 30 combined. What made the difference? Glory made the difference. The first 30 years, multitudes never followed him. The first 30 years, there were no testimonies that followed him. The first 30 years, there were no manifestations that followed him. But the moment glory came in John chapter 2, the whole world was after him. Get ready. Things are going to change for you. Tonight, may your glory begin to manifest as we pray. Tonight, may whatever is blocking your glory be moved out of your way as we pray. Tonight, that which is giving us partial sunshine, partial cloud, may it, may all partial, partial glory be removed from your life and may you begin to operate in 100% perfect glory. I got to stop here because we got prayers to pray. I got about 40 something prayer points from this passage and it promises to be a beautiful time. Welcome. And may God give you the anointing to pray today. May God give you the willingness to pray today. Open your mouth and let's give God the praise for bringing us together to this place of prayer today. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you dominion. Father, we give you majesty. Come on, thank him. Thank him. Thank the God of glory. Say, God of glory. 
I thank you for another prayer session for this week. God of glory. Call him God of glory tonight. <laughs> because that's who he is. He's the one that apportions glory to people. And you will get it in abundance tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, God of glory, I thank you for another prayer session for this week. I thank you for another prayer session for Wednesday night. I thank you for another prayer session coming on tomorrow. And I thank you for another prayer session coming on on Friday. God of glory. I thank you for the measure of glory that is in my life presently. I want you to give him praise. I want you to give him glory for the measure of glory that is in your life right now. Every single one of us will have measure of glory, but it can be better. So before we ask for more glory, before we ask for more sunshine, I want us to thank God for what we've got. Hallelujah. We've got some measure of glory, people. Give him glory. God of glory. I thank you this evening for the measure of glory that is in my life right now. I thank you for the measure of glory that is in my wife's life. I thank you for the measure of glory that is in my husband's life. I thank you for the measure of glory that is in my children's life. I know your children are not 100% what you will wish for them to be, but they are not as bad as the, as the child of the person next door. There is a measure of glory on, in your family. I want you to thank God for the glory that is in your family. Look at the house that you live in. That is glory people. Look at the cars in your driveway. That is glory, people. Look at the clothes that you wear. That is glory, people. Look at the food that you eat. That is the glory of God. I want you to give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him dominion. Say, Lord, I praise you. Say, Lord, I bless you. Say, Lord, I worship you for the glory that is upon my life. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. I honor you. I glorify you because I can see glory upon my life. Everything I have is your glory. Everything I am is your glory. Everything I hope to be is your glory that will make it happen. I want you to thank God because of the availability of more glory in his hands for you. I want to say, Lord, I thank you because in your care is the glory that I need for tomorrow. In your care is the glory that I ask for for tonight. Father, I bless you and I worship you and I adore you. Many people go to voodoo practitioners to get more glory. Yes, they do. Many people go to witchcraft to get more glory. Yes, they do. Many people go to marine spirit to get glory. Yes, they do. But we don't go to all those places because some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. But you know, we depend on the name of the Lord our God and is able to shower us with his glory because of the uh, victory that he won for us on the cross of Calvary. I wanted to say, Lord, I thank you because the glory that I need is in your hand. It's not in the hand of the woman across the street who read palms and who looks into the crystal ball. It's in the hand of the Almighty and I bless you for it. I can get more glory. That's why I don't need to be jealous of anyone. That's why I don't need to look at anyone and say, oh, I'm jealous of you. No. The God who gives glory, the Lord who bestows glory, he happens to be my God and I trust him to give glory to me in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to just pray tonight that the Lord will move for you. The Lord will increase your level of glory tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord, I want you to increase my level of glory as a result of this prayer this week in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, I want you to increase my level of glory, O oh God, as a result of the prayer tonight, as a result of the prayer tomorrow, as a result of the prayer on Friday. I want you to increase my level of glory, O oh God. I want you to take me from glory to glory this week, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the the name of Jesus. Father, move me from glory to glory. God knows the level that you are. God knows the place that you are. And God can move you from that place to a greater glory. I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will move you up. The Lord will move you higher in glory. The Lord will elevate you in glory as a result of this prayer tonight. You need to be moved up, my friend. You need to be elevated, my friend. God needs to move you up in glory. I want you to pray tonight that the Lord we use the prayers of this evening in his own way to move you from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will increase the level of your glory. The Lord will increase the level of the glory in your life as a result of this week's prayers. I've told you what glory is. I've told you the definition of glory. If you like, you can mention them to God. I want you to increase my glory in this area. 
I want you to increase my glory in that area. I want you to increase my glory in this area. I am renting now. I want to be an owner. I want to be a landlord. Increase my glory, oh God. Move me from being a renter to being a landlord. That's part of glory. In the name of Jesus, Father, in every area that your people will ask you to increase their glory, you will increase their glory. I want you to pray for your children that the Lord will increase the glory in their lives as a result of the prayers of this weekend. And know you have children that are doing well, but they can do better. More greater things can happen to them. I want you to pray that glory will just flood into your house, uh, that a a rain of glory will rain upon your household. uh, In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, a river of glory will flow into your house, uh, that you will wake up tomorrow morning, you will wake up Thursday morning, Friday morning, Saturday morning, and you will say, what glory, what glory, what glory. See, what the Lord has done. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever sin will hinder your prayers, the Lord will remove them out of your way in the name of Jesus. Whatever iniquity will will hinder glory from coming into your life, the Lord will remove them from you in the name of Jesus. Whatever will hinder your prayers tonight, the Lord will break them. The Lord will destroy them. The Lord will remove them out of your way in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever sin of omission, whatever sin of commission, whatever iniquity is present in your life, the Lord will wash them, the Lord will cleanse them, the Lord will remove them from you in the name of Jesus. Can I say something to you at this point? Sin destroys glory. Did you hear what I said? Sin destroys glory. Samson had great glory, but sin took away that glory from him. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever is in my life that is shortchanging me of glory, whatever is in the way I talk, whatever is in the way I think, whatever is in the way I act, that is shortchanging me of glory. I want the blood of Jesus to cleanse me tonight. Sin, ah, sin, ah, iniquity will destroy glory in your life. I want you to pray tonight, oh God, whatever sin it is that is present in my heart, whatever sin it is that is present in my soul, whatever sin it is that is present in my thoughts, in my words, in my deeds, I plead the blood of Jesus tonight in the name of Jesus. Whatever sin is hindering my glory tonight, let the blood of Jesus wash it away, O oh God. I want you to pray tonight that no sin, no unbelief, no doubt, no double-mindedness will be able to hinder your prayers and getting into glory tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will help you to pray in faith that the Lord will help you to pray in confidence, that the Lord will remove doubt and double-mindedness from your way and from your life in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now let us begin to pray tonight. If you want to clap your hand, clap your hand if you want to. But I want you to pray tonight that the God of glory will let more glory begin to shine out of your life. I want us to begin with that prayer tonight. I want you to say, my father, my father, my father, Oh God of glory tonight, uh, let more glory begin to shine forth out of my life uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, let more glory begin to shine forth uh, out of my life, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, If all you do is elementary school, uh, then if you go to high school, you get more glory. uh, And if you go to college, you get more glory. uh, And if you go and do master's degree, you get more glory. And if you go and do PhD, you get more glory. I want you to pray tonight. There is no level that you are in. There is no glory level that you are in that you cannot get more glory into your life. I want you to pray tonight. Let me move, oh God. Let me move, oh God. Let me begin to see glory come out of my life. Let more glory begin to come forth out of my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let me begin to move, oh Lord. Uh, from glory to glory to glory to glory. Let your glory begin to shine in me, O God. Uh, In every area of my life, uh, in my marital life, let there be glory 
there tonight. Uh, in my spiritual life, let it be glorious, O oh God. Uh, in my business life, let there be glory, O oh God. Uh, when you open another store, that is glory. Uh, when you open an another store, that is glory. Uh, but when you shut down the store, that is glory lost. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, let my life be one of going forth and shining forth uh, from glory to glory to glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, in every area of my life, let me go from glory to glory to glory. Uh, let me not go from glory to grass. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, come on, open your mouth that the prayers of tonight uh, will propel you higher than who you are right now. Uh, in every area of your life, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to pray tonight that the Lord uh, will use this prayer tonight uh, to move you from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Uh, another level of glory, O oh God. Uh, Father, you know my glories tonight. Uh, I don't even have to mention them to you before you know them. Uh, you recognize and you know my glory tonight. Uh, I want you to use this prayer of tonight uh, to move me from glory to glory to glory to glory. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, God can move you from glory to glory and change the automobile that you drive and give you a better automobile that people will say, wow, what a car you are driving. God can change your glory and give you a better house than the one you are in. God can give you a glory that would make you get another house and another house and another house. God doesn't mind any of those things. It's good for you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will move you, move you, move you, move you from the material you want, you wear to even a more expensive material that will be more glorious uh, that you will dress and people will say wow what is this that you are wearing this is beautiful uh, but when you used to wear rags nobody cared about you uh, I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will move you from glory to glory in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus uh, in your family among your children God will move you them from glory to glory uh, that all your children will move from glory to glory in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus uh, your children will become doctors, will become lawyers, will become engineers, will become big, big, big men in the society that you'll be able to say, yeah, that's my son. Yeah, that's my daughter. It shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. The Lord will move you forward. I said the Lord will move you forward. The Lord will move you forward from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father, whatever glory is on me right Right now, tonight, uh, I pray that you will increase it as a result of these prayers tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, glory, glory, glory. Uh, you are the God of glory. Let more glory begin to shine out of my life. Uh, did you hear what I said? Uh, say, my Father of glory. Uh, say, glory, 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 God. Uh, say, God of glory tonight. Uh, let more glory begin to shine out of my life. Uh, Father, let more glory begin to shine out of my ministry. Let more glory begin to shine out of my family. Let more glory begin to shine out of my business. Let more glory begin to shine out of my spiritual life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight that whatever glory is yours, that you are not aware of, they will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Let you pray tonight that whatever glory belongs to you on this earth, they will begin to manifest and they will begin to come forth in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, whatever glory is mine on earth, whatever glory you have written concerning me, O oh God, let them begin to manifest, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. I don't want to get to heaven and they tell me, yeah, you should have had this. This is the glory we had in plan for you. This was the plan of God for your life, but you did not fight for it. You did not press in for it. You did not pray in for it. But tonight we want to tell the Lord, whatever glory is mine, O oh God, that I'm not aware of, Papa, let it begin 
to manifest in my life. Papa, let them begin to manifest in my life. Whatever you do for God right now, there is more glory attached to it that you have not experienced yet. Did you hear what I said, my friends? Those of my friends who are pastors in the ministry tonight, evangelists and prophets tonight, there is more anointing that for you that will show forth the glory of God in your life. I want you to pray that glory that you have not experienced in ministry. The Lord will put it upon your head in the name of Jesus. Crown of glory that you have not experienced in your business. The Lord will use this prayer to put it on your head in the name of Jesus. Crown of glory that your children have not experienced. The Lord will use this prayer meeting in the name of Jesus. Say whatever glory is mine that I'm not aware of. Let them begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Whatever glory is mine that is yet to manifest. Father, let it come forth right now. I call my glory forth in the name of Jesus. I call my glory forth in the name of Jesus. Papa, let my glory begin to manifest. Every single one of my glory that I don't know of. But you know what you have de determined for me. You know what you have destined for me, O oh God. Every glory that is mine that has not manifested itself. Papa, let them begin to manifest tonight. God of glory, let them begin to manifest tonight. Whatever glory is mine in Jesus. Whatever glory is mine in the ministry, O oh God. Whatever glory is mine as a Christian, O oh God. Whatever glory is mine as a worker in the office, O oh God. Whatever glory is mine as a professional, O oh God. Whatever glory is mine, O oh God, as a sports person. Whatever glory is mine, O oh God, where I walk, O oh God. Whatever glory is mine, O oh Lord, in my business, O oh God. Let them begin to come forth. Let them begin to manifest. Papa, let them begin to come forth. Let them begin to manifest. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray to now whatever glory is yours will come forth and begin to manifest. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let my glory begin to manifest. Can we pray like the psalmist tonight? I said, can we pray like the psalmist tonight? Okay, if we can pray like the psalmist tonight, I want you to say, awake my glory. Awake my glory. Awake my glory. Awake my glory. Come on, call it, 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 call it. My glory awake. 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 In the name of Jesus. My glory awake. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My glory wake up. My glory awake, oh God. Father, let my glory awake tonight. Let my glory awake tonight. Pray, 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 pray. This is not the kind of prayer that you'll be praying and falling asleep. If your glory does not awake, you'll be begging for money still. If your glory does not awake, you'll be living on extended money to buy rice and to buy chicken and to buy beans. God forbid. I want you to pray tonight. Every area of your life, my glory will awake. Father, every area of my life, my glory will awake. I want you to call your glory. Let your glory hear your voice. The psalmist said, awake my glory. Wake up my glory. Oh, wake up. Wake up my glory. Oh, wake up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, awake my glory tonight. Awake my glory tonight. Awake my glory tonight. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Pray, 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 pray tonight. The glory of my glory on my job. Awake tonight in the name of Jesus. My glory in my extended family. Awake tonight in the name of Jesus. My glory in the ministry. Papa, I let them awake tonight in the name of Jesus. Your business is a good business. You need the glory of that business to awake. Awake, oh my glory. Awake up, oh my glory. Wake up, my glory. My glory, wake up tonight. My glory, wake up tonight. My glory, wake up this week. These three days, my glory must wake up. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. Your glory must wake up so you can be somebody. Your glory must wake up so you can achieve things in life. Your glory must wake up.
wake up in the name of Jesus. I pray your glory will not sleep off. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Say, my glory don't fall asleep. My glory don't be drowsy. All drowsiness upon my glory. Papa, remove them from it in the name of Jesus. Don't let my glory fall asleep, oh God, Jesus. Don't let my glory fall asleep, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, wake up my glory tonight. Father, wake up my glory tonight. Open your mouth and pray where you are tonight. In the name of Jesus, all drowsiness, all sleepiness. On your glory, the Lord will not allow it any longer. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Some people have sleepy glory. Glory, wake up. Glory, wake up. Glory, wake up. Glory, wake up. Mention the areas that you want to see the glory of God wake up in you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to pray tonight that as the day came, you know, the day came, people, the day came, the day came, uh, and glory changed the life of Jesus. Uh, I said the day came, oh, at Cana of Galilee, uh, and glory uh, changed the life of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray tonight, let the day of glory change come to my life. Uh, the day of glory, uh, let it be today, oh God. Uh, the day of change, uh, let it be today, oh God. Uh, I want you to pray by faith tonight. Uh, we have rebuked unbelief. Uh, we have rebuked doubt. Uh, we have rebuked double-mindedness. Uh, so I want you to pray with faith. Uh, I want you to pray with faith. Uh, and I want you to tell the Lord, uh, change day of change. Uh, let the day of glory change. Uh, come on me tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, let the day of change of glory, O oh God. Come upon my children tonight in the name of Jesus. If you have any child that is struggling, this is the time to pray for them in the name of Jesus. If you have a child that is under any attack, this is the time to pray for them for a change. If you have any business that is under any attack and things are so slow. Did you hear what I said? And these people are so slow. I want you to pray that the glory of God will bring about a change in the name of Jesus. Father, let your glory bring things to change, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the day of Jesus that came, let my own day come tonight also. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Just like the day of Christ came for glory change, I want the day to come for me, oh God. Even right now, right now, right now, right now, Many of you have been promised glory, all kinds of glories uh, that the Lord has promised you. You have not seen nothing. Uh, I said God has promised you in dreams. Uh, God has promised you in visions. Uh, God has promised you in prophecies. Uh, but you have seen nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, I want you to pray, O oh God, uh, every glory that you have promised me, O oh God, uh, every glory that you have shown me, O oh God, uh, let them begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Uh, let them begin to come forth in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that today, 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 uh, let people begin to see your glory in me from tonight. Uh, Father, change me into another man. Uh, change me into another woman. Uh, you know, after Jesus manifested his glory, people looked at him differently. Uh, I want you to pray that God come and walk on me with glory. Uh, come and walk on me with glory, O oh God, uh, that my wife that left me will see your glory upon me. Uh, because when she left, uh, she thought I was dead and gone. When he left, he thought I was dead and gone. And now, Lord God, you can decorate my life with your glory just like you decorate grass with flower. I want you to pray tonight. Let my glory spring forth tonight. Let my glory spring forth tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for a miracle tonight. I want you to pray for a miracle tonight. Remember, it was the miracle that he walked, that revealed his glory. I want you to say, Lord, I want you to say, Lord, I want you to say, Lord, walk a miracle in my life, oh God, that will show forth your glory in my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, walk a miracle in my life, oh God. Papa, walk a miracle in my life, oh 
oh God. It was a miracle that showed for the glory of Jesus. And we need God to work a miracle in our lives that will show forth, oh God, the glory of God in our lives and through our lives tonight. Open your mouth and pray where you are tonight that the Lord will reveal his glory through a miracle. Father, give me a miracle. And you know your business needs a miracle. You need your church needs a miracle. You need your health needs a miracle. You need your profession needs a miracle. You know you need a miracle on your job to move forward. I want you to pray tonight. Just like a miracle, oh God, reveal the glory of Jesus. Father, walk a miracle in my life tonight that will show forth your glory in me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, glory, 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 Lord. Oh, glory, 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 Lord. Father, show me a miracle of glory tonight. Papa, show me a miracle of glory tonight. Father, let your miracle bring forth glory out of my life. Let a miracle bring forth glory out of my life. Father, everything has been dead, oh God. Everything has been dormant, oh God. I want you to pray tonight. All those glories that are lying dormant in your life. Yes, you got more glory than you think. Than you think. Oh, you got more glory than you think. I want you to call on God tonight. I call my dormant glories. I said I call my dormant glories. Begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. All my glories that have laid down dormant. All my glories that have laid down dormant. All my glories that are there, they are useless. They are not being used. They are not bringing me forth. I want to pray tonight for you and I want to pray for myself. All my dormant glories, oh God, let them begin to come forth in the name of Jesus. Many of us have talents. Nobody knows us because the glory is covered up. Oh Lord, I call my dormant glories. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Change your situation tonight. All my glories that are dormant. All my glories that are just lying down unused. All my glories that are just lying down useless. I want them to come alive for the who they are and be what they want me to be, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, say, I call my dormant glories. I call my dormant glories to come alive. Come alive, come alive. My dormant glories in the name of Jesus begin to manifest. Begin to manifest. Begin to manifest. Begin to manifest. You shall decree a thing, people, and it shall be established. I want you to decree tonight all your dormant glories. Command them. Begin to manifest. Begin to manifest. Dormant glories that you know. Dormant glories that you don't know. Dormant glories that you want. Even dormant glories that you don't want. If they are good for you, tell the Lord. All my dormant glories, oh God. Let them begin to manifest in my life, oh God. Change my life from glory to glory. Change my life from glory to glory. Change my life from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Begin to manifest, begin to manifest. Begin to manifest, begin to manifest. I want you to say heavyweight glory. <laughs> Heavyweight glories, heavyweight glories, heavyweight glories. I don't want featherweight glories. I want heavyweight glories that I will show up like this. And people will say, wow, what is this? I want you to open your mouth and tell the Lord that in your business, heavyweight glories. In your profession, heavyweight glories. In your ministry, heavyweight glories. In your marriage, heavyweight glories. On your children, heavyweight glories. Come on, open your mouth and pray tonight, people. Open your mouth and pray that. That heavyweight glories is what you are looking for. Heavyweight glories are the things you are looking for in your marriage. Heavyweight glories uh, will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus in my profession. Uh, heavyweight glories in my ministry, oh God. Uh, heavyweight glories in our families, oh God. Uh, let it be one after the other in the name of Jesus. Uh, the people will look at the first child and they will say how glorious. Uh, they will look at the second child and they will say how glorious. Uh, they will look at the third child and they will say how glorious father let glorious glorious heavyweight glories heavyweight glories oh god valuable glories did you hear what i said
said, valuable glories, magnificent glories, splendid glories. Let them begin to manifest in my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, magnificent glories, oh God. Let them begin to manifest in my life. Let them begin to manifest in my business. Let them begin to manifest in my profession. Let them begin to manifest in my ministry. Oh Lord, magnificent glories, splendid glories, valuable glories, important glories, heavyweight glories. Let them begin to manifest, oh Lord, on my children. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Glories, 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 glories. Whatever people will see and praise you, oh God. Arise, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever people will see in you and give him praise, the Lord will arise and give them give you such glories tonight. I want you to pray tonight, oh God. Manifest them in my life. Whatever people will see and give God the praise. Whatever people will see and give God the honor. Let such glories manifest in my life, oh God. Papa answer prayers tonight. Papa answer prayers tonight. Whatever people will see and praise the Lord for me. Whatever people will see and glorify God for me. Whatever people will see and raise up their hand and say the Lord he is God of glory. The Lord he is God of glory. I want you to pray that the Lord will make such glory to manifest in your life. Whatever people will see and praise the Lord with you. Forever people will see and praise the Lord for you. In the name of Jesus such glories the Lord will give you tonight. What glory whatever glory people will see and praise God for you. And praise God in you. And praise God with you. The Lord will release such glory into your life tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Angels are where you are tonight. Did you hear what I said? I can see angels where you are tonight. Touching your forehead. Touching your life. And releasing new glory into your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can see the host of heaven. Walking around where you are walking tonight. And saying eyes have not seen. The glory that you will see. Ears have not heard. The glory that you will see. Ears have not seen. Ears have not heard. The manifestation that you will receive. Father let it be for me. As I stand here tonight. Let it be for my brothers and sisters. Wherever they are praying from tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Magnificent glory O God. That will make people praise your holy name. O God. Splendid glories O God. That will make people praise your name O God. O Lord my God. Heavyweight glories O God. That will make people praise your name. Father release it. Release it. Release it to me. Release it. Release it. Release it to them. Release it. Release it. Release it to us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray another prayer tonight? Even as we move from that last prayer, I want you to pray tonight. Say, wind of God. Come on, open your mouth. Say, wind of God. Yes, call it loud and clear. Say, wind of God. Blow away every cloud covering the sunshine of my glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, every dark cloud covering my sunshine of glory, O oh God. Papa, blow them away in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Please pray. Please pray. Please Please pray tonight. Wherever you are tonight, we have come to mean business. We have come to pray for glory tonight. But there are clouds. I said there are clouds. Just like we had in New York City this morning. Everywhere was cloud as if sun will never shine. But in the evening, the sun shone through. I want you to pray tonight. Wind of God, begin to blow away every evil cloud that is covering my glory in the name of Jesus. Father, bless Blow away every cloud that is covering my glory, O God. The sunshine of my glory that is not allowed to shine. Papa, remove the glory. Remove, 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 remove the cloud, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Move my glory from cloudy day. Move my glory to sunshine day. Move my glory from cloudy day. Move my glory to sunshine day. O Lord, whatever is preventing my glories from manifesting. Papa, deliver me tonight. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord wherever you are tonight. Whatever is preventing your glory from manifesting
manifesting. Whatever is preventing the glory of your children from manifesting, it's like all your children are the same trouble. All your children are the same trouble. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever is preventing my, the glories of my children from manifesting, oh God, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them. Whatever is causing the glory of my business not to manifest, whatever is causing the glory of my ministry not to manifest, Papa, remove it out of the way, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever is preventing my glory, oh God from manifesting. Oh Lord, deliver me tonight. Deliver me tonight. Deliver me tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever powers are sitting on your glory tonight, open your mouth and talk to the Lord about them tonight. Say whatever powers are sitting on my glory. Say Papa, compel them to stand up tonight. Whatever powers are sitting on my glory so that my glory will not manifest. Father, compel those powers powers to stand up tonight. Whatever powers are sitting on my glory, O oh God, Father, compel them to stand up. They may be human powers, they may be demonic powers, but whatever system is fighting my glory, O oh God, Papa, scatter them tonight in the name of Jesus. Papa, scatter them tonight in the name of Jesus. Whatever is hindering my glory, O oh God, whatever is sight sitting on my glory, O oh God, whatever is standing on my glory, O oh God, Whatever is blocking my glory tonight, oh God. Whatever I said, I will be a failure. Because if you don't have glory, you will be a failure, my friend. It's only if you want to go to witchcraft to get your own glory. It's only if you want to go to marine powers and get your own glory. But if you don't have the glory that God gives, I guarantee you will be a failure. And if you go to witchcraft, you are already a failure. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever powers have said, I will not have glory whatever powers have said I will pray 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 the glory will not manifest father put them to shame in this prayer meeting tonight papa put them to shame in this prayer meeting tonight every human system that is fighting my glory oh God scatter them scatter them scatter them scatter them scatter them oh Lord activate my glory oh God papa activate my glory for me oh God let them not remain dormant any longer in the name of Jesus father I Arise, 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 arise. Father, activate them, O God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Whatever powers are fighting my glory from manifesting, whatever powers of my job, my glory is to be a supervisor, but they have kept me as a clerk. My, my glory is to be a director, but they have kept me as a supervisor. I pray that every power that is blocking my glory from manifesting, Father, you will move them out of the way. Oh God, move every blockage, move every hindrance out of the way of my business. Oh God, coronavirus has become a blockage to glories of businesses. Coronavirus has been a blockage to many, many, many people. Father, move this virus out of our world in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, answer prayer tonight. Oh God, answer prayers tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I want you to pray tonight. We don't want partial manifestation. I said we don't want partial manifestation of glory. I said we don't want partial manifestation of glory. I want you to pray tonight. All your glory that is allowed to manifest only partially. I want you to pray tonight that those glories will come into full bloom. Yes, full bloom. Yes, full bloom. All your glory that has only partial manifestation. You know how they say the, the, the day is partial, partial sunny. It's a partially sunny day. That means that the cloud has taken half and the sun has taken half. I want you to tell the Lord I don't want 50% manifestation. I don't want manifestation of 50% in the glory of my office, in the glory of my business. Father, don't let it be 50%, oh God. Papa, don't let it be partial manifestation, oh God. 
God. Say I reject partial manifestation. Say I reject my partial manifestation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. Father, deliver me, O God, from partial manifestation of glory, from once in a blue moon manifestation of glory, from once in a wild manifestation of glory. Tell the Lord, you ministers, that you want to walk in glory every Sunday, every Wednesday, every weekday, in the name of Jesus, that when you stand before the people, it will not be once a month that you will get accurate prophecies, that you will not get prophecies that will not do anything in the lives of people. Your glory must not be partial anymore. Father, full bloom, full bloom, full bloom. Father, full bloom, full bloom, full bloom. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, all the gifts, all the talents that can show forth your glory in me, let them begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Did you hear what I said tonight? I've moved on to another prayer, people. All the gifts and all the talents that can show forth the glory of God. Tell them to begin to manifest just like Jesus manifested his glory in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say all the gifts. All the talents uh, that can show for the glory of God will begin to manifest in you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, all gifts, all talents, oh God, uh, that will show forth your glory in me. Father, let them begin to manifest. Let them begin to manifest in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, there are gifts that are in you that have not been called forth. Uh, there are gifts that are in you that have not been stirred up. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, all the gifts in you, all the talents in you that have not been stirred up yet, uh, they will come forth gloriously in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever is blocking them, the Lord will block those things. Uh, whatever is blocking them, the Lord will move all the blockages out of your way. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the Bible says his believers believed in him. Uh, his disciples believed in him. Uh, I want you to pray that the Lord will make people become believers in you uh, by the manifestation of, of his glory in your life. Uh, oh God, make people to become believers in me. Oh God, uh, there are so many unbelievers uh, in me and in my abilities. Uh, there are so many naysayers uh, in what I can do and what I'm capable of doing uh, because there's no glory to back me up. Uh, I want you to pray tonight that glory will back you up. Uh, yes, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight uh, that God's glory will back you up uh, in the name of Jesus and people will become believers. Uh, God will compel people to accept you uh, through glory manifestation tonight. Uh, God will compel people to accept you through the manifestation of glory tonight uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, come and open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Uh, say compel them to accept me in the name of Jesus. Uh, say make it impossible for them to ignore me oh God. Uh, give me glory. Uh, give me glory in this church, O oh God. Give me glory in this family, O oh God. When God got ready to give David glory, uh, the Bible says nobody was allowed to sit down uh, until the man of glory came back. Uh, I want you to pray tonight in your family, you will be a man of glory. Uh, in your job, you will be a man of glory. Uh, in your business, you will be a woman of glory. Uh, in the name of Jesus, elevate me in glory tonight. Uh, open your mouth and talk to the Lord uh, to and elevate you in glory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight, people, pray tonight, people, that glory that will make it impossible for people to ignore you, glory that will make it impossible for people to reject you. Did you hear what I said? Glory that will make it impossible for people to ignore you, glory that will make it impossible for people to be rude to you, glory. When you have nothing, people will be rude to you now. They will not respect you. People will despise you when there is no glory. Hey, Jesus, I want you to pray oh, when there is no glory. People will say anything about you. People will say anything to your face. You don't have any glory to show for it. So they will be rude to you. They will reject you. They will ignore you. Glory! That will make it impossible for me to be rejected. Glory that will make it impossible for me to be ignored. Glory that
Father, will make it impossible for anyone to just be rude to me. Father, release it to me tonight. Release it to me tonight. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Glory that will turn you into a hot cake. You know what I mean by that expression? Glory that will turn you into a hot cake. They are calling you today in this country. They are calling you tomorrow in that country. Your small business that you started in the corner, it becomes a multi-billion dollar business. I want you to pray tonight. Glory can do it. Glory will do it. Glory has done it for others. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Bill Gates. Did you hear what I said? Bill Gates. He started Microsoft inside a garage. Did you hear what I said? He started Microsoft inside a garage. Look at where he is today. A multi-billion dollar man. I want you to pray tonight. The Lord will increase your value. The glory of God upon your life will increase your value in the name of Jesus. The glory of God upon your life will increase you in the name of Jesus. The glory of God will come down upon your life and make you valuable in the name of Jesus. People say you are valueless. That's why they fired you. People say you are valueless. That's why they demoted you. But let them wait and see glory of God in you. They will be searching for you. They will be looking for you. They will be running around for you. Glory that will increase my value. Glory that will turn me into a hot cake. Glory that will make me to be in high demand. Father, release it into my life, oh God. My brothers who are preachers here tonight, I want you to pray for the glory of God upon your ministry. You will be in hot demand. They will be calling you from this city. They will be calling you from that city. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I heard of a preacher that somebody invited and he said, you will need four years to tell me because I am booked for the next four years. That is glory, my friends. I want you to pray that the Lord will increase the glory upon you, O oh God. The glory that will increase your value. The glory that will increase the demand for you. The glory that will increase the demand for your products. The glory that will increase the demand for what you do. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, glory that will make you to be in high demand. For 30 years, oh, nobody followed Jesus. Nobody followed Jesus, oh, for 30 years. But when the thing happened, Jesus Christ, what happened? The Bible says everybody followed him everywhere. Everywhere he went, multitudes followed him. Thousands of people followed him. At the time, he fed 5,000, not counting the children, not counting the women. That's what glory does. Glory makes people to follow you. Glory makes people, you, you to be in high demand. This is your small business. If the glory of God will fall upon it, you will see what can happen to you in the name of Jesus. The thinking of people will change through glory manifestation. I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. Papa, come and change my story by glory. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Change the impression that people have of me through the manifestation of your glory tonight. Non-recognition. Oh Lord, give me glory that will make them to recognize me. In the name of Jesus. Years of non-achievement. Oh God. Years of non-achievement. Labor, 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 labor. If you labor without glory, you will labor loss. Jesus never got into preaching. Oh, when glory came, everything changed. My father do it. My father do it. My father do it. And you know what? Jesus had the glory all the time. Jesus had the glory even in the carpenter's shop. It had not just been manifested. I thank God he never died without it being manifested. I want you to pray tonight. I want us to go back to that prayer again. You are loaded. Did you hear what I said? You are loaded. And you yourself, you know that. You yourself, you know that. You yourself, you know that you have more potential than you are able to produce. 
issues. I want you to pray tonight. Whatever is boxed up in me, oh God. Whatever is imprisoned in me, oh God. Whatever is tied down in me, oh God. Manifestation, manifestation, manifestation. Manifestation, manifestation, manifestation. You see people on television, they are doing what you can do. And you just shake your head and you say, well, they have a platform. I don't have a platform. You can do better than many people are doing. You can do what people are doing and do it more better because of manifestation of glory. I want you to pray tonight. Papa, don't let me remain like this. Papa, don't let me die like this. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Don't let me die gifted but not lifted. Don't let me die gifted but not lifted. It is glory that lifts up, oh God. Father, don't let me die gifted but not lifted. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Send your glory, oh God. Change my story by your glory, oh God. Papa, change our story by your glory tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Turn me into a wonder. Did you hear what I said? Papa, turn me into a wonder. Oh, turn me into a wonder for people to behold. Turn me into a wonder to behold by others through the manifestation of your glory in me, oh God. Turn me into a wonder that people will look at and say, wow, Father, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All the inadequacies in my life. I want you to open your mouth and really pray tonight that all the inadequacies in your life, the manifestation of glory will swallow them all up. All the inadequacies in my life, oh God, let your manifestation of glory, let it swallow them all up in the name of Jesus. Papa, I have my inadequacies, oh God, but I know that glory can change that around. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, make it impossible for me to be ignored again by your glory in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. I said I want you to pray tonight uh, all the glories that are bottled up in your life uh, you are loaded oh i'm saying it again uh, you are loaded uh, all glories that are bottled up in your life uh, they must find a way of expression in the name of jesus uh, open your mouth and pray to the lord tonight uh, that all glories that are bottled up in your life uh, did you hear what i said we got just five more minutes now uh, all glories that are bottled up in your life uh, they must find a way of expression uh, papa let them find the way of expression. For 30 years, the, 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 the thing was bottled up in Jesus. But at Cana of Galilee, it exploded. And from that point on, for the next three and a half years or so, it was power, power, power. Glory, glory, glory. Crowd, crowd, crowd. If Jesus were to follow money, he would have got a lot of money. If Jesus wanted to be a king, they have already offered him the, on, on a silver plate. I want you to pray to night. In the name of Jesus, all the glories that are bottled up in my life, oh God. Papa, let them express themselves. Let them begin to express themselves. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Pray, 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 pray tonight. All the glories that are bottled up inside you, they begin to find a way of expression, find a way of escape. You know how Paul talked about the way of escape? In the name of Jesus from temptation. I want us to use that word for our prayer tonight. All the glories that are inside you, they will find a way of escape to manifestation. In the name of Jesus, Father, create a way of escape, O Lord. Father, create a way of escape, O Lord, for the glories of my business to come forth. You know the products you sell now. You know the things you sell. You can become a rich person if there is a way of escape into glory. I want you to say, glory of God. Make me, make me, make me, make me what you want me to be. Let there be a way of escape, oh God. Provide a way of escape for me, oh God, that my glory will find expression in life. All the glories that are bottled up in my life, ways of expression, all my glories that are imprisoned, oh God, all the glories of my children that are imprisoned, oh God. Many times you look at your children, how they struggle, and at the same time you see how they are talented, but they remain the same. Oh Lord, let me not go through, Lord, let my children not go through 
through what I've been through, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want us to pray that the powers that are fighting your glory, your powers that are fighting your glory with human weapons, the powers that are fighting my glory with spiritual weapons, run out of strength, run out of ammunition, run out of fighting power. Open your mouth and come against them tonight. Powers that are fighting my glory, oh God, with human powers, with human weapons. Powers that are fighting my glory, oh God, with human weapons, with spiritual weapons. Let them run out of strength, oh God. Let them expire, oh God. Let them run out of ammunition, oh God. Let them run out of fighting power, oh God. I said all powers that are fighting my glory, oh God. All powers in the system of man, all powers in the system of my country uh, that are fighting my glory that it becomes so difficult. All powers that are fighting my glory because of lack of money, oh God. All powers that are fighting my glory because of lack of connection, oh God. Father, arise, oh God. Arise, oh God, and provide a way of escape for me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. The Lord will decorate your life with multiple colors. Papa, decorate my life with multiple colors, even as you decorate the flowers in the field. Decorate my life with multiple glories. Papa, decorate my life with multiple glories. Papa, I don't want fake glories. I'm looking at a flower right now where I'm, where I'm leading this prayer. It looks so beautiful, but it is fake flowers. All this flower looks so beautiful, but it is a fake flower. I want you to pray tonight. I don't want fake glory in my life. I want real glory in my life. Decorate my life with real glory, O oh God. Decorate my life with real glory, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Decorate my life with real glory, O oh God. And let me move from glory to glory. Let me move from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let me give you one more prayer and then we'll close tonight, people. Let me give you one more prayer and then we'll close tonight. Night. I wanted to say, my father, my father, my father. Come on, say it. Say, my father, my father, my father. Say, let your glory on me, O oh God. Make the rest of my life to be the best of my life. That the glory of God in me, O oh God, let it come forth and make the rest of my life the best of my life. When Jesus Christ showed up that day, the rest of his life was the best of his life. I want you to pray tonight, begin beginning today, beginning today, beginning today, August 19, uh, and August 20, wherever you are, if it is morning already, uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, let the glory of God in me, O oh God, make the rest of my life the best of my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, Papa, make the rest of my life uh, the best of my life. Uh, let your glory do it. Uh, Father, glorify yourself in me, O oh God. Uh, adorn me with your glory, O oh God. Uh, decorate me with your glory, O oh Papa. Decorate me with your glory, O oh Lord, and make the rest of my life the best of my life, O oh God. I've stared in the mountain long enough. I've gone round this mountain long enough. Let me move forward in glory to my promised land. Let me move forward in glory to my promised land. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let your glory on me make the rest of my life the best of my life. Begin to give God the praise tonight. Begin to thank him for answering our prayers tonight. Begin to say, Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory for the manifestation of great glory in my life from tonight. Uh, for the manifestation of new glory in my life tonight. Uh, for the manifestation of great things in my life tonight. Uh, Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. Father, I give you honor. I give you dominion. <laughs> Father, I give you majesty. Father, I bless, I bless you, O Lord. Glory, 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 Lord. Glory in every way, O God. In the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Ha <laughs> ha. God of glory. God of glory. God of glory, oh God of glory, 
Oh God of glory, we bless you. We worship you. We adore you. Father, we want freshness of glory. I want freshness of glory that Satan cannot harvest. I pray for myself and I pray for your people that I pray these prayers tonight. Father, I pray that exceeding abundantly above that which we have asked, above that which we have thought, we pray that a new manifestation of glory in every area of our lives will begin to come forth in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Father, we decree tonight heavyweight glories. Oh God, valuable glories, splendid glories, magnificent glories. Let them begin to manifest in our lives. Let them begin to manifest in our businesses. Let them begin to manifest in our professions. Let them begin to manifest in our marriages. Let them begin to manifest in our children. Let them begin to manifest in every area of our lives. And we'll be careful to give you the praise for the answer. And we'll testify of the goodness of God to us. In Jesus' mighty, mighty All name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. All participants are muted. And they can and unmute amen. themselves. And amen. People, I thank you for joining us tonight. I bless the name of the Lord for you. You can always go on my podcast and download these prayers. That's something I've seen about these prayers. You download them. I know people here in New York and in Africa also that download these prayers and they just listen to them over and over and over again. Tomorrow's prayer. <laughs> you know what tomorrow's prayer is all about? Listen to Bishop. Oh. The title of tomorrow's prayer is, My glory shall not be turned into shame. Did you hear that? <laughs> hey, come tomorrow, tell somebody to join us. Oh, my glory shall not be turned into shame. I will explain more about that tomorrow. Then on Friday night, hey, I shall not be stripped of my glory. I shall not be stripped of my glory. My glory shall not be reduced on me. That will be on Friday. But for tomorrow, my glory shall not be turned into shape. Whatever it is today that people look at you and say, Wow, this is glorious. They look at your family. They look at your children. They look at your ministry. They look at your business. They look at everything around you and they say, Wow, this is glorious. May that glory not be turned into shape in the name of Jesus. Join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. as we pray about our glory never been turned into shame. And please don't forget to support this ministry financially. Please be one of those who faithfully give online. www.freshanointing.org slash give online. God will bless you. We need your help. And I believe that as you help us, the Lord will help you also. Shall we go before God and share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. All the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. And amen. Thank you so much for tonight. I wish you a glorious night's nice rest. And I pray that the God of glory will not leave you alone until every area of your life radiates the glory of God. Until tomorrow, when we meet again, this is Bishop saying thank you for coming. Good night. <laughs>